YouTube channel. My name is Clara. I am 22 and I live in Arlington, Virginia, which is right outside of Washington, D.C. I have a one-bedroom apartment that I share with my boyfriend and I constantly get questions about where certain pieces of furniture are from. So I thought I would just do one big walk-through apartment tour. All right, let's get into it. Starting off, we have our little entryway area next to the front door. This rug is from Ross. And then we have this little entryway table, which came from TJ Maxx. It just holds some extra cords and chargers, some of my handbags. This is honestly just a catch-all junk drawer. And then my work bag typically stays on top of there. This is kind of a dumping ground for any returns or something that we have to make. Above it, we have this little map of Washington, D.C. I got this at Home Goods. And then on the wall, we have this wine rack. This is from Urban Outfitters. Our coat closet is right at the front of the apartment as well. It just has a bunch of extra linens, coats, shoes, poly stuff. And then moving on to the kitchen, we try our best not to have a lot of stuff on the counters. So next to the stove, we keep our utensils. We just bought a bunch of wooden utensils from World Market because I like the way they look. This is a thrifted diptyque candle jar that I use to hold them. Then we just have a little olive oil dispenser. This right here is a knife block, but it fits a ton of different knives. That's from Amazon. I don't love the way it looks, but it's very functional and it kind of blends into the backsplash. So this is just what's around our sink. We have our dish soap, hand soap, and paper towels. These two holders are from Grove Collaborative, so you can get those two at Target or online. And then we just have one of those sponge containers that sits in the sink. Next up, we have like our little produce area. This fruit basket actually came from Kroger, so I have no idea if that's something they have year round or if I just happen to find it at a random time. And then in the corner, we have our coffee situation. Situation. I really want to upgrade this soon, but for now we just have a Nespresso Vaturo Plus, I believe it is. And then we have this like water kettle. If you've watched my TikToks, you definitely recognize this rug. I get so many questions and compliments on this runner. It is from Ruggable and it is a pricier piece, but it's worth every penny. We have the comfort pad underneath ours, so it's way thicker and it kind of has that spongy texture that those mats do if you've ever worked retail the mats that are normally at like the cashier stations um so it's just really comfortable to stand on and cook on and the best part about the ruggable i think is that you can use a super scented fancy laundry detergent i personally use the Le labo laundry detergent for this and it kind of doubles as an air freshener. I also get questions about the island itself, but unfortunately this came with the unit, so I can't link the actual piece of furniture. Um, but pretty much the only thing that stays on the island is this big vase of flowers. Sometimes the flowers are real, and sometimes they're these faux tulips that I got from Amazon, but these are obviously real hydrangeas that my friend gave me. And this is just a giant glass hurricane from Crate and Barrel. And then across from the kitchen, we have our pantry. This is primarily food storage for us, but at the bottom here, we do have our toilet paper, napkins, and then extra paper towels along with this cooler. And then immediately next to the kitchen, we have our little dining table. This table is from Ikea and the chairs are from Target. And then above it, we just have this black and white like surf painting canvas thing. And this was from Ross. And then if we move on to the next room, this is our little like living room area. I get a lot of questions on our couch. The couch is from World Market and then the pillows are just plain pillow inserts from Ikea. This mirror is from TJ Maxx, but they also have the same exact one at Target. And we went with this cowhide rug and acrylic coffee table for the middle of the room just because there's not a lot of space. So the fact that the carpet is this fluid shape and then the table is see-through, it makes the space feel a lot bigger than it is. I get so many questions about this tray on the coffee table and this is one of the few things that I can't link because I got it at an interior design warehouse sale. So it was a bunch of these random samples from this interior designer. It's like got this rounded shape and a lot of people have suggested getting a computer monitor riser and then just flipping it. This carpet itself is from World Market and then the coffee table is from Amazon. So next we have the TV stand. We wall mounted the TV and then covered the cord on the wall with some Amazon cord covers. And then the TV stand itself is from Ikea. 
If you find this online, you'll see that it usually has hardware right here to pull open the drawer, but we didn't install that because we didn't like the look of it, and it's still pretty easy to get into the drawers, so there's no trouble there. And I think it makes it look a little bit more like CB2 vibes. And then on the shelves itself, we have some coffee table books that you can see Polly has helped herself to. And for the sake of the bottom shelf not being empty, we just have this random book end. And then on top of the TV stand, we have a diptyque candle jar, a room spray, and then this is one of those little Apple home pods. This is one of my favorite corners in the apartment. This is the Vernon barrel chair from Target. I love it. I went on a mission to track this down. And then there's just a white pillow, I believe. This is from World Market. And then we just have this snake plant in the corner. The pot is from Ikea and then the stand itself is from Amazon and looking over everything is this Clint Eastwood black and white poster that we have framed We actually thrifted the picture itself, but I found it on Amazon and I've added it to my storefront I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one um, and then I can't remember I think this frame is from Urban Outfitters and in this corner next to the couch We have this basket that was also thrifted that just holds a lot of our extra blankets And then we have this floor lamp that's from World Market a lot of people ask to see Polly's setup And she doesn't really have a setup per se since she's free roam, but this is her castle It's kind of the equivalent of having like a dog bed in the corner of your apartment. She'll go inside of it She'll sit on top of it. She also teethes on this so that's why you'll see it's all chewed up but it's from Amazon. I think it was like a hundred or so dollars and she loves it so much. So then right next to the couch, you have the door to our bedroom. Starting off, the rug is from World Market and our bed frame and headboard is from Urban Outfitters. I found these nightstands that match really well and these are from TJ Maxx, I believe. But these lamps you'll notice are kind of the same thing as that floor lamp in the living room and that's because they are also from World Market. Our duvet is this like natural linen from Restoration Hardware and then we have these two big Euro shams from Ikea and this throw pillow is from Home Goods. And then above the bed we just have this little cow bowl skull that we found at Goodwill actually so I can't link that either. But then if we're going to my side of the bed I have the same nightstand here with the same bedside lamp. I have this little water carafe that's from Amazon I believe. And then my friend sent me those dried florals for my birthday this year. <laughs> Please ignore the dying plan. I'm hoping to revive it soon. But this chair is from Amazon. This dying plant, which is my own fault. This plant is from Lively Root. And then this pot for it that I fully intended to like actually transfer it in. But I killed it before that. Um, the pot is from Target. The throw blanket on the actual chair is from Home Goods, And then this is another white pillow from World Market. I don't really know where a lot of this is from since this is Zach's work corner, but I do know that this little filing cabinet is from Ikea and then this lamp is from Target. And then we just have our air purifier which helps with Polly's hair and white noise at night. And then right off of the bedroom we have our closet. You can probably tell that the closet itself had this built-in storage system, but we added in these drawers ourselves. Both of these are from Ikea. It's two individual units. That just happened to fit perfectly in that space and then i do have this little laundry cart that's from urban outfitters all of these plastic bins in the closet are from target and then we have just like our luggage my nail polish my extra handbags a bunch of case to fight cases some shoes um, but for the most part, that's where all of my stuff in the closet lives. And then Zach has this other side. He also has those little bins from Target. Keeps his luggage up there and some other random boxes. Our laundry basket sits right there. Our washer and dryer is actually in our closet, which I really, really like because it makes it so easy to switch loads of laundry. And then on the back of the door, we just have one of those over-the-door hangers, which just has some random towels and bathrobes thrown on it. But if you go through the other side of the closet, <laughs> you will see our bathroom, um, which is currently where Polly is hanging out. So since she's front and center, I guess I'll go through Polly's stuff first. She has her food and water bowl. These stay in the bathroom and they're from TJ Maxx. And then Polly's litter box is next to the toilet and that's actually from Ikea too. On the back of the toilet, we just have tampons, air fresheners, and then wipes. 
and then we have this zebra above the toilet this i also thrifted this is probably one of my favorite thrift finds i don't have any information on it other than that the artist signed it and his name was steve hastings so if that means anything to someone please comment because this is one of my favorite pieces and i would love more i do really like our shower curtain because it's white with this black piping i found it at cb2 and i think it just matches the zebra really well these shelves are super cute but they're also really functional if you're sharing a bathroom with someone because we didn't have a lot of drawer space or under counter space so this is honestly where the majority of my products live and then he has a shelf at the top here the shelves themselves are acrylic shelves from amazon and then i just got these little acrylic brush holders and containers from the container store i get questions about how we installed them and they're actually drilled in with wall anchors and then on the back of this store the apartment just has a hook so that's where I keep my bathrobe and my towel. And then as you're leaving the bathroom, we just have this full length mirror from Ikea hung to the wall. But that's pretty much the whole place. So let me know if there's anything that I forgot to mention that you want to know where it's from. Just leave me a comment and I'll try and get back to you with a direct link if I can find it. But otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.